So what would you say then was the missing piece from your voice and singing training? Was it this idea of experimentation or? Well, first, the big, the big thing is self-awareness tends to be missing. And there's a lot of chasing a goal and chasing a sound if you're, if you're a singer or chasing, chasing a sensation in a way. You should feel the sound here. It should sound like this. You should sense your breathing this way. Then it will be good. And so it's like you're, you're chasing the sensation rather than having the, the sensations and discovering how they impact what you're doing. It's more like you're doing what you do, but you're constantly looking for a sensation that you may or may not ever find. Or it's like you're trying to make it happen without having any understanding of what goes into it, the organization behind it or, or the relationships of what you're doing and how you're doing it and how those relate to, this, to the sensations that you would experience if and when it ever happens. <laughs> so for me, Feldenkrais turns the equation around where you learn, especially as a practitioner, and this is what I do with my students, I facilitate learning situations in which they reorganize and these sensations tend to appear or these abilities appear not because you're chasing them, but because they are the they're the natural outcome of a particular way of doing things or a particular way of connecting with yourself. And then all of a sudden, these things that people have said for hundreds of years, voice teachers and music coaches, they make sense because you, you actually can feel them. And then once you actually can feel and sense them, then you can play and use combinations and variations and expand in a, in a more dynamic way what it is you already have a a personal connection to.